Apparently, in rugby, what they do is the ball bounces on the ground and then you kick it through the upright or something like that. Yeah. That's a drop kick. It's a drop kick. That's what they do in the NFL, too. Yeah, so you just you pick it up, you drop the ball on the ground, then you kick it. And it's uh, pretty effective. I mean, I guess instead of a free kick, you could do the drop kick. That'd be interesting. Well, not a free kick, a punt, a uh, field goal. I'll get, the, I'll get the right terminology. Don't worry. <laughs> My mere presence. So what is your... So what is your proposal for the dropkick? Are you saying just replace the replace the uh, field goal with a dropkick? Yeah, why not? No one would ever go for it. They'd go for the two-point conversion every time. Yeah. Because the dropkick is really hard to do. That's why it would make an extra point even more interesting. I mean, you don't know what they're going to do. They can line up for the two-point but, conversion. But Rob, it's easier to get a two-point conversion by far, so they would just go for that every time. Is it really easier? Than a dropkick? Yes. Really? Yeah, drop kick is actually very difficult to do. Hmm. All right. So make it worth three points instead. Ooh, that would be interesting. So you only get the two point conversion with a three point conversion. That's it. We're making this way too complicated. <laughs> <laughs> well, the NFL wants to get rid of the extra points, so we're just spitballing. <laughs> how about how about we also give them bonus points if they hit the uprights directly? Hmm. <laughs> I'll what like now, now, what if they hit both in one kick? Yeah, and it goes both. through. So if it, if they hit both in one kick, but it doesn't go through, they get um, they'll get like four points. But if they hit both the uprights in one kick and it goes through, they gain possession of the ball again on a on a free kick from the other team. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Anyone rem- anyone remember it- that stupid ass system they tried in the XFL? <laughs> I'm pretty sure if John Madden were still announcing, he'd have a stroke by now. <laughs> well, what did they do in the XFL? I believe each touchdown was like four points, and then it was like an incremental conversion system where hmm. if you did it from five yards, you got one point, ten yards, two points, you know, things, something like that. That's, that's, um, that's interesting, I guess, if you need to go for it. How about, oh, how about this for an added rule? If you can tie or break the NFL record for a long distance field goal, you immediate you, you can immediately tie the game on the extra point. That would help the Raiders a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, attempts at a 64 yard field goal would go through the roof. I'm pretty sure the Jaguars would pay 20 million dollars like the greatest kicker in the world at that point. Scouting the earth for the best kicker who ever lived <laughs> turns into a Hollywood movie. <laughs> I got an idea. If we're, if we're going to add complicated stuff to the NFL, what if we had a swinging target at midfield, and if you were and if you were behind <laughs> the ten yard line, you could throw to the swinging target at midfield, and you would get ten points. Uh, Whoa! Wait, make the whole quarterback throw throwing it? through the tire. Yeah, you have to, tire you have to throw through relevant. the swinging target. It's like it's like a, it's like a tire. Um, I I'd be all for that since my team has Aaron Rodgers. So <laughs> <laughs> Drew Brees would be bombing it all the time. I'm pretty, sure, just, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure four teams in the league would be like, "Yay!" and the other, the rest would be like, "Fuck you." Now, is it going to be attached to like some solid thing or like a rope, so it's just swinging fucking wild? It's, it's a rope, so it's swinging like fucking wild. <laughs> oh my god, those windy games! <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure Aaron, Ro- Aaron Rodgers, oh. Tom Brady, and Drew Brees can still hit it. <laughs> oh, dude, dude, then you can get. <clears throat> then you can attach squirt guns to all of the seats so the fans can can squirt it like balloons and if they squirt fast enough after a team scores and they pop the balloons the team gets another five points <laughs> what do you think i think this would be in the arena football league not the <laughs> nfl <laughs> it would increase attendance i think crowd interaction you turn it into a carnival dude what the fuck you want to get rid of the extra point? Well, we got some proposals for you. <laughs> extra points and a large plus. I, I don't know if you've ever been up here for a game during winter, Jason, but fucking squirt guns would come out frozen. <laughs> well, then, if the Green Bay Packers can't get extra points, you better build a fucking dome, asshole. That's some bullshit. <laughs> Man, domes would have such an easy time with that target. Like, with like, the uh, target, they just have Jason, an AC pointing right the- at it. The Giants would be fucked too then. Oh yeah, we'd all be fucked. <laughs> I could just imagine I could just imagine Matt Ryan go- looking at the tire going, "Oh, thank you God." <laughs> oh, if you want to integrate fantasy sports into it, you could uh, you could integrate fantasy sports and Vegas betting into the games themselves. So when a player meets like one of the Vegas odds, the team could get extra points on that. Again, a lot of teams would have a very unfair advantage. <laughs> 
you thought you the bring Patriots... fantasy sports into this? Why do you got to bring fantasy sports into this? You, it's like you, the Patriots would be like, oh, so you wanted us to score more points, huh? Okay. The Patriots aren't actually that high on fantasy sports uh, points. Over all, <laughs> all they would be after this. Just have a fan vote every play for who gets the ball, but only the quarterback will know. <laughs> Just change it up every week. Like, one week it's the wide receiver points that count, and one week it's the – like, the Kansas City Chiefs would be fucked. Then, or, you could do, or you could do what I did in my league and just make the, make the fucking kickers worth, like, 10 points a kick. Like, what? <laughs> I remember that. Oh, my God. It, it gave kickers a new importance. That's for sure. It was so, it was so retarded. <laughs> and on the one-yard line, and here comes the kicker on first down? Oh, maybe you can – um. <clears throat> Maybe you could give uh, teams an incentive for uh, for for throwing the running back while he's carrying the ball. <laughs> I thought played. they just made it illegal like, to push teammates f- forward. <laughs> physically picking him up and throwing him. No, like you what? could give you could give him like a, you could give teams like a catapult in the backfield. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? do you go on? And, and as long as the offensive line can hold the defense off, you have time to you have time to uh, tighten the catapult and fling the running back over the other team. This um, is safe. They're wearing helmets. J- Jason, the Giants would lose every single game. <laughs> that your O line wouldn't be able to stop them for five seconds, let alone fucking fifteen. So, Jason, I want to hear your ideas for increasing the pace of baseball at this point. Mm. Put helmets on everybody and let the batters charge the pitchers. They've tried that. It didn't end well for the pitchers. <laughs> beat the shit out of them until they pitch faster god damn it that's well that's the that's what you got to do you know you've got to yeah. give the pitchers incentive to pitch faster so if you're not pitching fast enough the batters can come up to you and start beating you with the baseball bat and, but and also- it, but it, here's the thing you, you make the distance between home plate and the pitcher's mound further away like make it like make it like 20 or 30 yards away and then you give that gives the pitcher an incentive to pitch faster and so you have the base you have the batter running up to the pitcher and he's going to he's he's got like he's like got a melee bat you know but the pitcher can fling his fucking balls at the batter's head and knock him out that's the whole Ooh. that's the whole goal knock the oh. batters out with the fucking balls <laughs> that'll give him fucking incentive to pitch fast oh my god what you described is almost what patching was back in the late 1800s <laughs> where you were allowed the pitcher was allowed to take the baseball and if he threw it at the uh, runner who was trying to steal the base and hit him, he's automatically out. <laughs> so yeah. if that pitcher hit the batter, you're out, boy. Then we'll go back to the dugout. Jason, yeah. wouldn't it be a little easier to have a shot clock? <laughs> you're easier. Gonna... No, it would be easier, but not nearly as bloody. <laughs> True. Because actually, you no, know, technically baseball does actually have an incentive for pitches to pitch fast. Just umpires never utilize it. Wait, wait a second. Is Are you suggesting that we put a shot clock up for a pitcher for 24 seconds? That's what they're trying in the minors. Uh, yes. Really? Yeah. Yeah, in some of the minor not, leagues, not they're 20, trying to... Not 24 seconds, the, the, but... Uh, yeah. I think it was actually 20 seconds. Uh, they're yeah. trying to pitch clock. But yeah. they're, they're doing it in the majors, too. It, it, yeah, they're doing it in the majors, too. It's actually working really effectively. In fact, there's actually a rule in baseball that if a pitcher is taking too long, the umpire can actually administer balls. Like, if you're going, okay, this is taking too long, ball one. Yep, I think that's I think that's what they were doing with the pitch clock. If the pitch clock runs out, it's it's automatically a ball. That and uh, all hitters got to keep one foot in the box now. Good. Yeah, but Good we've we've that. talked about this already, and it, that doesn't really change anything because they can still do their entire routine. They just have to keep a foot in there. I, I, I think. <clears throat> I think the problem is that you've only got one ball in play in baseball. If you had like twenty four balls in play at the same time, Jesus Christ, Jason, and you had like. <laughs> and you had a pit, you, you just had a basket of balls that the pitcher could start flinging around. Like he could choose to just fling it anywhere, and if he nailed someone in the face, he's out. You know what is Why this naked gun? Only in the face. Vladimir Guerrero would come out of retirement to play that gang game. <laughs> <laughs> like yo, I heard about the rule changes. I Give mean, me the league minimum. I don't care. He just Here's swings the bat and hits like six home runs in just one swing somehow. JB, here's the thing. Roger Clemens would come out of retirement to do that, too. <laughs> I think no, anyone would come out no, of retirement. No, no, no. The only problem was he has to throw the balls at people. He likes to throw bats at people. Ooh. Well, that's true. <laughs> He'll sign in the National League. That way he always he always has a chance at bat. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, Potato Salad just gave me a brilliant idea. What if 
instead of having wild bulls go back to the to go back to the uh, the backstop, what if the opposing team had pinball flippers and they could flip it out into the outfield? <laughs> this what? would be interesting. <laughs> Human pinball almost at that point. Can they have the one extra flipper out in the outfield to just fling it around if it gets out there? <laughs> That'd be great. They could fling the other players around as they dive for the ball. Nope, fuck you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's just it's just laying there in the outfield. They always have to jump over to something to make a play. There there, there if are no words. If they've gotten everybody off base, man on deck just books it to first. Yeah, but if the ball makes it back to the backstop like that, it it's an out. <laughs> so the pitcher has like no incentive to throw at the fucking batter. Oh God! What the hell are we doing to start to our sports? <laughs> I guarantee, a, I guarantee we, you, at least one person would be watching this for a season, going, "Wow, this is fascinating." <laughs> <laughs> we haven't gone full Calvin Ball yet, dude. What if we combined baseball and football? Like we had the sport of baseball, but instead of quarterbacks, we had pitchers throwing baseballs, and they had to throw it to wide receivers who had to catch it with mitts. So, uh, would that mean so, that kickers had to use bats? Yes, because no Tapes kickers their would have foot. to use golf clubs. They use so, cricket what? bats. Uh, what golf clubs? <laughs> yes. Well, they would be longer, I, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be really precise. Very precise. What? This Very conversation precise. has gone somewhere. Oh, wait, My... can you hit, can you hit a baseball, a regular size baseball, with like a nine iron, and the damn thing won't bend backwards? I think it could. That's oh, not a theory. Theory. Yeah, At least for a couple oh. times. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Tingle right has a good idea. Yeah, use... yeah. Tingle has a good idea. Use a fucking cricket bat. I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, yeah. I'm oh pretty my sure God. I would quit watching football if that happened. <laughs> now, how, now, how do we bring basketball into this? Uh, oh, oh, with the it, oh, dude, with the added with the extra point, you can put um, you can put a basketball net like on the uh, on the lower bar, and if the player can slam dunk it through the uh, can slam dunk the baseball through the basketball net, it's an extra five points. And Jimmy, Graham, Jimmy, Jimmy Graham, Graham, Graham is ecstatic that, right that's now. That's not that hard in the NFL, Jason. <laughs> I know. But it. if you bend the upright even the slightest bit, they give the points to the other team. <laughs> <laughs> All these rule changes, no. and yet somehow it's easier to understand than Australian football. I got it. I have an easier. I, I've got a better one. If you bend, if you bend the basketball hoop or the uprights, they're electrocuted and they shock you with lightning. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> I'm. I don't think the insurance companies would like that very much. <laughs> the players you would like it either. But we'd see a decrease in contracts. That's for sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Demar- the whole time, oh, dude, and the whole time it's not played on grass anymore. It's played on ice. Oh jeez! He has to ice skate the whole time. I, I can literally hear D. Maurice Smith shitting his pants from here. Wait, wait, wait! wait <laughs> How the hell is Doc Emmerich gonna call that game? Wait a minute! You can't play it on ice. Green Green Bay would have an advantage then. Yeah, well, not all the players are from Green Bay though, so that's, that's not really too big of an advantage. Okay. I'm pretty sure Aaron Rodgers would look at this and go, "Yo, what the fuck?" And the well, goaltenders and the goaltenders actually sit. It's it's no longer the uprights. It's actually goalies net now, and the goaltenders actually sit on the goalies net up, net up there, so they can block your extra points. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure Brody would come out of retirement to try to <laughs> Damn it, I was gonna say that exact same thing. <laughs> I, at that point, I wouldn't care who he's playing for. I want to see this shit happen. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Hunter Ed Belfour comes out of nowhere. Oh, it's like, God. Or like you I got a new sport. It's like, I didn't want to play football with the money. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh, instead of a coin toss, you have a sumo match at center, at center ice. Huh. <laughs> you know, I would pay just to see that. That might actually give John Scott a reason to be in the league. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, John Scott. Oh, my God. A little wacky ass fucking sports. Can we get into this? <laughs> but, I don't know. We've included hockey, baseball, football, cricket. Oh no, golf. we have to we have to formalize the fighting rules because we can't just let them fight. We have to formalize the fighting rules, and they have to formally do karate when they want to fight. Instead Otherwise, the they're, they're just qualified from the game. <laughs> so, where do the poker players come into this? <laughs> they don't. <laughs> oh, they're the ones who determine the plays. They play a game of poker. And every game of poker they play determines the next play the team will make. So you can't, you can't, there's no strategy to it. It's just completely random. You know, I would love to see Phil Helmuth as a head coach, just see him go off on the sideline. <laughs> All right, here comes the river card here. It looks like it's going to be a passing play. Oh, God. Oh this has suddenly turned into some Nickelodeon game show. 
Yes, Nickelodeon game show. Come it's on turn. Now. It's turned into fucking uh, double dare. Oh, no, the the other one he uh, Wild and Crazy Kids. No, Mark Summers hosted two shows. One was Double Dare. The other one was another what one. What would you do? Was that it? What? What? You? Do? It still sounds like uh, Wild and Crazy Kids to me. What wild and crazy? What wild and crazy kids? What would you do for penalties, though? Are there penalties? I don't know anymore. <laughs> I like the electrocution idea for penalties too. <laughs> oh, what if you electrocuted the playing field? Like just just shock him into just yeah, you won't fucking do that again now, will you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just put shock collars on him. Don't do that. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> you jump too high. You're oh my get god. Shocked. <laughs> Oh, and we could put like we could have a like a we could have like um a high ceiling so we could still have like the passes and the golf ball stuff. But then we have chains that come down with like those those rings, like American gladiators. And if you can if you can swing over it like that, you can just get over the defense with a guy shooting uh, tennis balls at you. <laughs> in in every single corner, there's going to be a zone where the robots from Robot Wars will just beat the shit out of you <laughs> if you get too close. This is getting. Is somebody of... writing this down or something? <laughs> this is getting weird. <laughs> oh, at halftime, they have a monster truck show going on. <laughs> yeah, they have to clear While the field. While the game is still playing. Yeah, why not? All right. Oh my god. All we're... right, and we're going to Grave Digger. <laughs> uh, I think. Uh, I think we've hit the limit of shit we can. Oh no, we can get pole vaulting in there definitely. Oh my god. Oh yeah, if you what? can pole vault through the uprights, you get yeah. ten you points. Can... You can pole vault the running back through the upright for ten points. <laughs> no, you could pole vault. You could pole vault the running back over the defense. Oh, oh! You have the you have you have the what? uprights laced in explosive barbed wire. Is it so is. right? So you could time it perfectly to try to block him. Well, now no, it's just turned into need, American gladiators. You don't even need to make this. You don't even need, need to make this like. Uh, add any more gimmicks to it. You could just make interference allowable on the pole vault. I kind of wish I was a better programmer because I would totally program whatever the fuck sport this is. <laughs> God. <laughs> the greatest sport that will never be played. So I, I have an idea. Yeah. On the catapult guy, what happens if we give them extra points if they launch the guy in the catapult and they land inside the team's bobsledders that are going around the outside of the stadium? <laughs> we don't need bobsledding in this. That's silly. Oh yes, of course. No way. Yeah, if we're, if we're gonna have there. if we're gonna have the catapult, we need to make the pole vault more difficult. So we have to have an <laughs> offensive lineman do it. <laughs> he's got to wait. He's to, to be eligible to pole vault. You have to be three hundred pounds or heavier. Oh my god! <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, Vince Wilfork is suddenly in demand. <laughs> how do I pole vault? See, here's how you pole vault. They're asking how do you pole vault on ice? You have divots in the ice. At certain intervals, and then you mm -hmm. get the pole vault in those intervals. A giant ice spike on the actual stick. <laughs> Wait, oh, is there any way we could incorporate eating contests? Nah, no one. That's that no, that's whoever, whoever, sports, the ball in there, whoever sure had the biggest old line would win. No, whoever had the most Japanese old line would win. Ah, uh, that's true. And then again, whoever had the most Japanese O line going up against uh, going up against the biggest O line would have a real hard fucking well, time. Also, <laughs> also oh if God. you have to have karate, they would also have an advantage. Oh yeah, definitely. Ooh, how how would they administer challenge flags? <laughs> Potato <laughs> cannons at, at fired point, directly at the referees. Dude, at Wait this point, second. dude, seriously, at this point, you have to seriously ask, what the fuck are you challenging? Because there's a lot going on right now. <laughs> and you know what the challenge flag is? The flare gun. Oh god! <laughs> you just no shoot fucking, one into the air. No fucking making it like a beanbag shotgun for the flag. Like, like, like hey, with all, that's why I saw that. With all, this <laughs> with all this additional shit, I'm pretty sure even Bill Belichick would quit coaching at this point. Sir, are you are you challenging the penalty? No, you didn't shock him hard enough. <laughs> I I see the first penalty. Illegal holding. <laughs> just like the most innocuous. Like what? How Illegal you holding. Tell? <laughs> False start. What? <laughs> what? How does this even start? I don't understand. It'll be a five-yard penalty. What? Uh, we have yards. Down. <laughs> we have yards of ice. Oh my god! <laughs> what is going I on? Didn't there's little, a measurement there's system little here. indentations across the ice for every yard. <laughs> <laughs> I thought those were looks like a protractor. Oh, those, those, those indentations could be the pole vault indentations. They could be our markers too. There, two and one. We save money for the league.
<laughs> I'll make a penalty that make a penalty to where they have to take their skates off for a set number of plays on the ice. Oh, that'd be so bad. You have to wear sneakers <laughs> instead of skates. <laughs> you dumb fucked up boy. Now no, put on the shoes. Worse, worse, put it like these old raggedy shoes that no longer have any grip on them. <laughs> oh that way god. there's zero probability of any grip. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> what the but fuck if we is tried to sport? put cameras in here, we'd be turned down. Oh, we can't put cameras in here. Come on now. What do we? Because here's the problem. Not even on a money basis. What the fuck are we looking for? <laughs> How do you... We might we might need the extra angles just to see all of what the hell is going on. Wait, <laughs> body cameras on all the players. <laughs> like that NFL red zone, like eight game bullshit is just to watch one game. <laughs> it's to watch one game. You have to watch all eight angles at once to even comprehend what's going on in this sport. Oh my god! In heaven, help me. And now the opposing team has brought out the catapult again. But wait, the other team has flaming slingshots. This could get ugly. The defense has countered with the electrified net. <laughs> but the offense, is, yeah. the offense is wearing their spiked armor, so this should be good, one, guys. Is is that a Trojan horse? Wait, when did the what? Road Warriors come into this? <laughs> you can have different armor sets for your teams, but you can only you can only change them at the beginning of the game and at halftime. All right, they chose the Roman shields for this play. <laughs> They chose the Roman Shields for this half. Don't know how they're going to do because the other team chose uh, the terrorist bomb vests. Okay, we stopped going into sport ideas, and we're just going <laughs> anything we can go for. This is medieval <laughs> warfare at this point. The defense, the defense has the terrorist bomb vest. They just blow up the other fucking team and win. Can this happen? I want this to happen. <laughs> But the, could you imagine the offensive team? They've got the terrorist bomb vest on. The running back's got it on. They fling him with the catapult. He just explodes in midair. Now, how uh, many points is that? I don't know. I'm so confused. Fuck it. You win at that point. God, with the thought... final score of purple Some... to Q. And yet somehow, somehow, some way, Phil Sims will understand this sport perfectly. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is what Phil Sims dreams of every Saturday. <laughs> but of course, the real question would be, when would Brett Favre come back to the sport? <laughs> oh, God. He'd have to ask if Dick you could just, You could just move his consciousness into some giant android body. No, that's a, actually, that's a great mechanic. Who comes back first, Roger Clemens or Brett Favre? Oh, God. Roger Clemens, Brett Favre is making way too much money off of commercials. Yeah, he is. He, I don't think he wants to be involved in, in teams where they can strap terrorist vests on and fucking blow them up. Now, do we have intermissions where they try and explain to us what the hell we just watched? <laughs> nope. <laughs> now, I know a lot has happened, folks, but here's the rule book here. Here's the Fox two-hour halftime show to explain <laughs> what the fuck. Hey, it's just a big whiteboard with a bunch of scribbles <laughs> going, Fuck! <laughs> It's you a 12 see, hour event to James watch Harrison these- has taken three penalties today. He's currently unconscious from shock trauma. We might not see him for the rest of the game. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, this is how it is. Un- unconscious, missing a limb, dead. <laughs> Question- <laughs> He'll be out for about three return. plays. He has a bullet in his head. He's questionable to return. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The medical staff around here is excellent. <laughs> <laughs> has third degree burns on his entire body. His return is probable. <laughs> oh my he had God. his he had his entire hand amputated. May return in the second half. <laughs> Sorry, all I'm thinking about right now is the time Jason played Madden and a player broke both his legs and was probable to return. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Madden's in the system. Hey, fucking Adrian Peterson broke both his legs. Oh, he's probable to return. It's like, what? Next week. Just nail two by fours to his legs so they can't bend. We're he good. Was, he was back next week. How the fuck did he do that? Oh, God. Oh, that was so great. Adrian Peterson makes both his legs in a game and he's back the next week. It's so uh, fucked. And he's won in real life to be done. Man. Fuck. Man, he is earning that contract. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit here, folks. Oh my god! I think we, I think we finally broke Jason on that. And all, after all that, we finally got him. <laughs> that's all. That's all I was thinking of when you mentioned the. You you <laughs> mentioned his like, two what? broken legs, and all I'm thinking of is Adrian Peterson in college scoring against Texas, diving into the end zone, being doing a fancy flip, and immediately dislocating his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it was it was so funny. Adrian Peterson 
probable to return <laughs> right leg broken left leg broken what the fuck like, what the hell <laughs> all right probable. guys this is a flesh wound all right, guys, Superman. it's time to debut the Super Mutant Steroid. Well, maybe maybe in our new sport, wheelchairs are legal. They might as well be, as long as they have traction on the ice. <laughs> it's hey, wheel girl, we can, found a can... sport you could do. <laughs> you Granted, fit... you might die in the first play, but you can still do it. He's a running back, so he fits, so you could put his wheelchair. It's smaller, it'll fit inside the catapult, and you can just launch him. <laughs> oh, my God. This is like a circus of, of of fucking mistakes. What would we call this? It's not it's not the NFL anymore. What ball? What ball? That's what I saw in the chat room. <laughs> fucking Roger Goodell's fetish sport. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is the anti sport for Roger Goodell. This is too fucking dangerous, dude. <laughs> yeah, Goodell will be having a heart attack right now. We could just leave it as the anti sport. <laughs> Commissioner has had a heart attack. He is probable to return. Every single player has to sign a form that clearly states you cannot sue us over anything that occurs. Ever. <laughs> you know what's you know you what's going, going to, to happen. The, There's the, no the, the fucking way waiver. you could tell us. I love the, the warning waiver is going to be you are going to die playing this sport. But you, by signing this, you agree to die playing the sport. You did this, not us. You did this to yourself. Every contract includes a life insurance policy. <laughs> the whole family has to sign it. He's doing this to himself. <laughs> He's willing to do this. Oh, God. How would you referee this fucking sport? I don't think you could. <laughs> I'd, refer I'd referee any sport if they paid me. Yeah, sure, but they'll what? try to officiate. Well, I mean, there has to be somebody to monitor the shot callers. You can't just have them go off at random. That'd be horrible. <laughs> oh, we have to have refs and mechs. <laughs> or jetpacks. <laughs> My God. I, I'm just that, imagining right? a referee in a mech on the sideline just staring at everything as it's happening. <laughs> Activate rocket-powered yellow flag! Oh my god. Just invent Magitek armor from FF6, just give it to the refs. Might as well. <laughs> Who would sponsor this? <sighs> That's a good question. <laughs> Micro machines! <laughs> Bill Gates goes crazy, he's just like, fuck it! Fuck it, have my money. <laughs> That's where the funding comes from, Bill Gates. <sighs> the Bill Gates Foundation. But who <laughs> gives them television rights? Oh, Fox will take that in a heartbeat. Oh, yeah, Fox. They'll put definitely. anything on their fucking airwaves. Yeah, they'll try it once. Well, if not, they'll just put it on FX or FXX. Now, is this wacky enough for sci fi? Nah. Siffy likes bad movies. They don't like sports. I think it's too wacky for sci fi. <laughs> no, but we could probably pitch it to Spike because they did do Slam Ball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We could definitely pitch it to Spike. We could pitch it. Um, oh, is G four still around, or is that Esquire now? Oh, it's Esquire now. <sighs> Esquire. Yeah, it's Esquire. If it was G four, we probably could have pitched it to them too. You know, we might be able to get it on Esquire though. We could, uh, dude. Our sponsors could be like every fucking major beer company. <laughs> so, we could use, we... so, uh, so football then. We, no. So we got to incorporate NASCAR into this somehow now too. We mm. could use G four as like a way, just like teasing them with Robot Wars. It's like so, Robot Wars is involved. <laughs> Kinda. Hey, Comedy Central, right there. We don't. We only have. We, but we'd only play this game one time every year, or something like that. Like it can't have like sixteen games a season. It's got to be like one game a season because it's so ridiculous. You can only watch it once. So wait, eight teams at once? Yeah, eight teams oh, at once on the on the same field. No, the the rest of this the football season is regular football, but the Super Bowl is this. No, 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 dude, dude, dude. It's it's eight teams at once. It's four games at one time. <laughs> all on the same field. What? Or you can do some type of tournament. Yeah, no, you have like no instead of like, instead of just one field, you have like a, a spiral of fields, and the games all intersect in the middle, <laughs> so you can fuck with the other teams while you're playing. You know, fuck it. We might as well just have this shit in Afghanistan. <laughs> Something tells me we would have a huge Japanese market. <laughs> Damn, we could stuff. keep the ice field going in Afghanistan. What if you could have like mini miniature controlled like remote controlled airships that drop bombs on the other players? No, a little little too wacky for that. Okay, but then whoever dropped them would be indicted for murder. Yeah, you know. yeah I don't think we can skirt that one around the legal system. <laughs> Congress would be like, okay, all this other shit, fine, but that no, uh, that we can't that, that we can't cover. Um, you want to talk about a way to get the Browns oh, in the chest? No, 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 no. I know, television. I know, I know. You know what we could do? Everybody could have a one use, one time use can of mace. And they could use it once during the game. 
Can Wait, they only uh, use it? Can they only use it once, or just like once throughout the whole play? Because I'm picturing Adrian Peterson no, no, just you, taking you, you the only ball. Get to use just... it, you only get to use it once per game. But is it like is it like a one time use or like one play? Yes, one it's time. One use. time per game. What do you not fucking understand me? No. <sighs> you spray the can. The you, fucking you get to spray the can once it. per game. That's it. That's, what, what do you not understand about that? <laughs> but but how long does the spray God, take? Geez, like how, thank how many seconds of spray do you get it's per a this spray. one game? Squirt thing. How <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Fuck. He's. I don't think he's ever well, seen what's cops the trajectory before. of the spray. <laughs> you say that, but my father's a cop. <laughs> it's just, it's just a squirt of spray mace. You fuck him up and then get by him. It's not it's not fucking police brutality. Mace him till he's fucking puking blood. <laughs> Jesus. Well, in this <laughs> way, why not? It can't doesn't have to break both legs to fucking win a game. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not well, so Adrian Peterson gets his fucking revenge on Whitey. Well, God JC, damn. that wouldn't be fair to the AFC East because they'd all use it on Damakung Su. <laughs> <laughs> well, then he would just use the excuse he can't see anything, so he just stomped at random. <laughs> That's true. Oh my God. I and mean, if I wanted to continually b- beat people, I'd just give them fucking nightsticks and say, go at it. Just hand them all billy clubs. Oh my god, we've been going on this for 45 minutes. <laughs> it's fascinating stuff, isn't it? Yes. What is this fucking sport? What is this fucking show right now? <laughs> it's still I mean, technically I, a sports show. I have to admit, I, I, I zoned out for the last 20 minutes because I was like, nope, I give up. I'm, I, I miss real football. Oh man, I do miss real football too, but hey, baseball's almost here, so. Remember uh, when this used to be about news? Nah, this never was about news. This is always about what bull <laughs> or WTF bull. <laughs>